Okay, so that was a crazy tribal. Um, very wild. I'm bummed because I had the right read on what the play was. And I was so close. I was so close, man. Oh, if only I picked the right stuff, man. So I, I had the right read that obviously they're voting, I, I think. Even I think even they were like, yeah, we're not really trying to hide it at this point. Like the arguments that they were making made no sense. But um, then I had the right read to throw my vote somewhere else to in case they idle Justin because it's only the one. It's very easy to idle him. And then oh, dude, I was so close, bro. I was so close because I had every read right, but I had to have, the stars had to align and they just couldn't. I would have had <laughs> if I if I played the idol on Hannah, I would have negated all those votes. Kyle would have negated the other four votes, so I think it was a total of seven votes right there. And my one vote, if I played it on the right person, if it wasn't Kyle, I think, and obviously Ryan, if it was any of the other three, and I picked them, <laughs> they would have gone home. Like <laughs> I had the right read. Oh, dude. That would have been wild if that actually worked. I you was solid on my face too. When Kyle played the idol, I was like, "You're going home. You're going home." And then the uh, the the vote was read. He's like, "Ah, oh, that doesn't even count." I was like, "Something's not gonna go right here." Uh, luckily, they sent the votes towards Hannah, which actually meant that me telling people to bury me meant that they were actually saving me which actually that was that really wasn't my play i was like we have to somehow slightly convince them to bury me but i think they i think we all kind of went too far and then made it so like okay well they're not definitely not voting me because they all said my name too much so i was like all right it's got to be one of the other four people and i just i could not figure out what their angle was so i picked the one person that i figured they'd been burned too many times with with Gideon, and I figured, like, you know, they their game is over with him. They might have games with other people, but not him. And, yeah, so I was close. I was close on the, the play. The read was right in terms of what they were going to do. But, dang, I was so close. And oh, I just wanted to just, oh, it, it would have been, just imagine, just picture it. Kyle plays the idol for Justin. And he says, I'm ready for the Ethans to cannibalize each other. And my one vote for Kyle would have counted, dude. I was so excited. Oh, that would have been so good. Oh, my God. Well, now I'm playing on the back foot on the Royal Alliance. But like what um, Justin said, our alliance at least has way more, way more fluid. There's no, like, actual, like, secure group in this alliance there's no three there's no twos there's no well there's twos but there's no fours no five nothing man it's just five random people bound by complete like betrayal so we have a chance to maybe turn this around but we need justin and ryan it's a bold swing bro if we get that swing man it'd be amazing we'd have six people and that six would just make no sense man how that six works but that's my play now and we're hope for another idle play if we we get one more shot at an idle play and if we can pull it off then we might actually be able to take back control of this game otherwise you're here for uh you know, maybe you know a pecking order that i've been on the other side of that you know only fun for one person and so hopefully we can turn this game around so once again, this game just keeps throwing wrenches my way. So we lost the challenge. Um, we had a really hard time with some of the puzzles. I'm like, come on guys, like let's get it together. Justin like messed up the puzzle so badly. Come on, dude. Like some of those were so obvious. And then Garrett at the end just had this attitude of like, oh, it doesn't really matter because I'm in the majority. Well, the joke was on him because we had a joint tribal and my team pulled it out. Like original Janet came through for the win. Right before we're scrambling, strategizing, Daniel comes to me and gives me a safety without power called a shortcut in this game, so I got to leave. But what I didn't know was that once I left, and kind of left Justin to the wolves, Kyle plays a compass for him so he's safe. So Hannah goes home, which is 
really what I wanted and what I had pitched to our group. So that to me, even though they didn't tell me the second half of that plan, I still have trust in the original Janet members because they went through with an idea that I had. And at the end of the day, we're still gonna have the numbers. I am praying that we have the merge on Thursday because if not, I'm gonna be in serious trouble. Chantel is totally on to me. I think Gabe still has some trust in me. And Garrett and Gideon, I just don't have connections with them. So I'm glad that Justin's still safe and I still haven't had to burn him somehow. So I live to see another day. Oh my God. Oh my. People have said that I look young for my age. This game is going to age me 30 more years. This is, tonight was insane. Um, I got saved by Kyle with an idol. No idea where that came from. Uh, I I don't. I, my head is spinning right now. Um, all right. So we lose the challenge. I'm thinking. All right. I still have my potential to be the one to survive this over Jared um, because I've been putting in the work. I'm hoping that they realize that I'm more beneficial, or that they think I'm more beneficial to them in this game than Jared is. Um, then we get the twist that all 12 of us are going to go to Crossroads and the other tr uh, party gets to, yeah, that's one of the words I couldn't figure out in the goddamn uh, crossword puzzle. Uh, anyway, the other party gets to decide if they want to keep their immunity or if they want to you uh, get rid of it and be able to vote. So I am jumping around room to room. It was mayhem. I couldn't get in the room with half the people half the time. Um, I ended up talking to Maddie, Rob, and Daniel at some point and tell them, like, look, you have to save me and Jared because if we're not saved, you're losing numbers. Um, I was like, I'm 100% working with you. I know those other five are airtight. Like, they're not going to break. I'm not willing to work with them. So, Daniel seemed on the fence, Rob seemed on board, Maddie seemed on board right away. I never got to speak with Kyle. He was always in a room that was filled. I couldn't get in there. So I was hoping that one of them would be able to go back. Um, Jared ends up coming in. I tell him, like, look, I'm pitching against you on our group that we're, our party that we're in now, um, but I'm not intending to actually vote you. I don't want either of us to go home. Um, my goal is that the other party will all vote, we'll have the numbers, we can take any one of them out. So I'm hoping that they'll all, they're all going to vote. Um, so yeah, I tell Jared that if he hears it, yes, I am pitching against him because my plan was I need my, I need the other party to feel safe enough to give up immunity. So I said to them, like, look, I'm going to tell everyone that I think your party, none of you are willing to give up your immunity to save me. I don't know if they would do it for Jared, but for me, I don't think they would. So that's what I kept saying to Gary. That's what I kept saying to Gideon. That's what I kept saying to Chantel and Hannah and all. I, I just kept saying, like, look, they're not going to give it up for me. I knew coming into tonight I was going to have to pitch myself against Jared, and that's still what I think I have to do. So I pitched myself against Jared. Um, uh, I, so I'm trying to think who threw out her name. I think Jared was the one that said, Hannah's probably the least likely to have a compass. So that's the name it ended on. So great. We go to uh, Crossroads, and I'm, ba I'm still playing up the fact I don't think this other group is going to give up their immunity to save either of us, that it's going to most likely be just the party that I'm on right now that is going to be voting, and the rest are just basically going to be sitting there watching. Um, Garrett says he doesn't know if he believes it. None of them really, they're like, well, we can't really put a vote on them because if we don't, um, so then we all, uh, before we go to vote, that's when the craziness begins. Jared uses an advantage to bail out. So he can't be voted anymore. He can't be voted and he can't cast a vote. So now, it doesn't really change much for me because I'm still, I was planning on going for ha the Hannah vote, hoping that my, uh, that the other party is still going to try and take out one of these others. Um, him leaving, 
actually benefits me long term. But anyway, so we go to vote. I'm now playing up the fact I'm thinking I'm done. I have no chance here. I'm like, okay, Jared's gone. I know it was between me and him. One of us is gone. It's me now. So I'm playing up that fact, hoping that the people in my current party all are like, oh shit, yeah, like we got to vote for him. But he, he doesn't think he's getting saved. Um, so I then vote for Hannah, like I talked to the other party about doing. So we get back from voting. Now all hell starts breaking. Like this, th this was the most, this was more hectic than when I tried to blow up the crossroads when Jennifer got voted out. It starts with Garrett basically saying, I'm going to play a compass. So I'm thinking like, please God, do not play it on Hannah. Because if it's played on Hannah, I am screwed. Even if the other um, party decided they were going to use their vote and give up immunity, I'm uh, there's nothing that can save me at that point because my vote's canceled and I'm gone. Luckily, he plays it on Gideon. So I'm like, thank God. Okay, Gideon, save, whatever. Then, at a left field, Kyle, term, try, bleh, Kyle decides to throw in... Uh, a little word and he says he's ready to let the other side start picking each other off so he is going to play his compass and at first I'm thinking like what is Kyle worried about is he basically saying I used my vote I don't want to go home though no he plays his compass on me and this is the most shocked I have been since uh, I have no I, I don't think I've ever been this shocked um Janet coming on as my captain was more uh, I I I never saw Kyle playing anything for me. I never saw any of them, but Kyle, I didn't speak to him throughout the night. So now I'm going nuts. I'm giddy as a schoolgirl once again. Um, so now the other side is all like, oh, fuck. Um, honestly, Garrett was probably shitting himself because he used his compass and had it come to it, he could have been going home. But anyway, votes come in. One or two of them went on to Kyle, which I was shocked about. I don't know where that came from. He actually didn't even, um, he ne didn't give up immunity, so he still, he never casted a vote, which plays in later, which actually benefited me also. So Kyle doesn't cast a vote. It's a total of eight votes. It's me, Gideon, Garrett, Hannah, Chantel, and then three more. I think that's right. Yeah, because Jared left. No, who else is there? Maybe two. There's eight votes total. I'm losing count. My head is still spinning. Either way, not all of the other um, party voted, which is important for me later. So the votes come in. Bunch of them for me. I would have went home without the compass. One of the, one or two went to um, Kyle, which I was shocked about. Uh, and then... Three of them on to Hannah. Hannah gets voted out. So I'm still in the game. We go back to our individual party, the Janet party chat, and Jared's like, oh my god, didn't expect to see you back here. So we're all talking a little bit. Everyone's all, especially Chantel, is all sad that Hannah got voted out. I mean, I kind of wanted to work with her, but at the same time, I'm like, she didn't seem like she wanted to actually work with me, so I wasn't upset about it. I would have probably preferred Chantel to go here, but I, I didn't care enough. The two of them are the same to me almost at this point. So we're all talking and someone pulls someone into a room. I think, I don't remember if someone pulled Jared or I, Gideon may have pulled Chantel again. Someone pulled someone else away. So I'm like, oh, anyone want to pull me into it? And Garrett's actually, like, you want to go talk? So me and Garrett went talk. And this is where, once again, I pitched myself to him to get on his side, and I said to him, like, look, I really had no idea this was happening, um, which is a half lie, half truth. I didn't know at all that Kyle was playing a compass for me. I did have an idea that the other side was going to vote and vote for Hannah. This is when Jared leaving and Kyle not voting helps me immensely. I then say to um, Garrett that I had no idea. The only reason I voted Hannah was because I was planning to put down Jared's name 
And when he left, I was like, well, I have to vote for somebody. The only thing I heard throughout the night was the other side said, maybe we'll vote with you. And if we do, it'd be Hannah. So I was like, well, that's the only other name I heard throughout the whole night. Jared was originally where my vote was going. And instead, I had to vote for Hannah because what else am I going to do? Um, so this action, Jared leaving actually allowed me to vote out Hannah, save myself, and not have to expose myself to this other party that I wasn't planning to vote with them. Um, then I also got right back in my bus and ran Jared back over. I then was like, look, if you look at the numbers, if you look at who voted or who, how many voted, and the fact that Jared left, Jared was part of this plan. Jared knew what was going to happen more than I did. Because in order for... No, because everyone on the other party did not vote, they knew that they that they were going to be able to cancel out the target that my party was going for, me or Jared. In order for them to successfully pull this off, they had to know that both me and Jared were going to be safe because they didn't use every vote, which didn't give them the majority. In order for them to pull this off, they had to know that Jared was safe and that I was safe. The only way they know that is if they know that Jared is leaving this crossroads and that Kyle can then play an idol, uh, a compass on me. If they didn't know Jared was going to be gone, they would have needed all five of the other party to vote in order to ensure that one of this group goes home. So I was able to then pitch to Garrett, like, look, one, I didn't know this was happening. I had no idea. I just threw Hannah's name out because it's the only name I heard and I had to do something now that Jared was gone. Two, Jared knew. Jared knew that this was going to happen because he had to tell them, I'm going to leave. And Garrett then was like, that makes sense. I think he buys it. I think he buys... And I do think... I do think Jared was part of this. But by doing all this, by everything that played out the way it did, I am now able to convince... I'm At least, maybe not convince. I'm able to pitch to my current party that I had no idea that they were going to work with me like this, but Jared did. That regardless of what you think of me, you have to see right now Jared is still with Kyle, Daniel, Rob, and Maddie. He is with them tight. I am not. I was used as a pawn. And that is what I said to Garrett. I said, look, I get it. They saved me. But they're doing this because they are trying to get numbers back for them. They're not doing it to save me. They're doing it to save themselves in the future. I don't buy it. So I'm hoping now if we don't merge into one party... Jared still should be their target. Um, from what I got, I think he may have went home tonight had he not left and had no idols. If it was just a straight up thing, I, it seemed like they were gonna. I don't know for sure. They told me after, like, yes, it was gonna be him, but obviously because he left, it couldn't be anymore. So then they did vote for me. Um, but right now, I think this puts even more power behind my story of Jared is tight with them. He was part of this plan. I wasn't. I was used as a pawn for them. Um, so at this point, I need to figure out who I can get to the end with, who's willing to work with me, and I want to take out the big hitters. I want to take out Kyle. I want to take out Daniel. I want to take out Garrett, and I want to take out Chantel earlier than any of these other people. I can't think right now if I want to merge at 11 or if I prefer it to happen at 10 because I think if it can happen at 11 and either Ryan or Jared get voted out I think I might be able to take control of this game with lower numbers and jumping between side to side um and right now Gabe is the person that I am thinking in my head I want to use to help me do it I think right now Gabe potentially Rob and potentially Maddie are the people that I need to use in order to get me to the end of this game. Can I beat them? I don't know. I'm hoping if I can pull that off, that maybe I'll be looked at as the big move maker. But regardless, 
tonight, I I have to go take a cold shower because I, I, I'm I'm so lost. <laughs>